not all that shit in the bag. Like, y'all. Mm, I'm in Andy's car, okay? He drove to work today and yeah, he, he took my car in. <laughs> but I'm on my way to the library. I love working at the library. I feel like I'm able to get such deep focus work and I really had an epiphany. <laughs> I'm always having breakthroughs, okay? You know how like sometimes we can feel like imposters and literally a download came in was like, you're not an imposter, you're just ignorant. And not ignorant in a in a bad way or speaking down on myself because y'all know we don't allow that. But just literally the actual definition of ignorant, which is lack of knowledge, like lack of information. You just like don't know. So y'all know I've been on a journey, right? Of sort of transitioning from an indie artist, a more like commercial artist, social media, internet vibe artists into more of the fine art world where I am exhibiting at more galleries and museums and potentially considering gallery representation that's a whole nother conversation but when I thought about entering that space there was some like imposter syndrome that was coming up and I'm like yeah girl because you like you just aren't educated and what was so great about working for this other artist I feel like she put me on on so on so many artists so much stuff so much like painting techniques for glass and just like so many different things that I learned feel like I'm becoming my own art history student like where I'm just like learning about all these all these different um you know painters and like I okay so what's been so great working for um the other artists when I was working as her studio assistant she had so many books she had like a full library of all these different artists and painters and so I was able to just like look through her books and stuff and I fell in love with Dutch flower paintings so much that I actually like bought a book on Dutch. well it was actually the book that she had the artist that I was working Working for um, and I would just like even on my little lunch break I would like look through her <laughs> look through her Dutch Lauer painting book and so I was like I gotta get a copy of this like these paintings are insane the level of beauty and detail and like as I'm reading it and learning about tulips in Holland and and like and just the obsession the Dutch had with flowers is just like crazy but people were like robbing public gardens just for these tulips that's how exotic and amazing that they were to the people in Holland like y'all it's just been crazy okay I've just been like geeking out on on all these different artists that I'm studying and um, I already I think y'all know right like I already love flowers and plants and like mother earth and nature and I love incorporating roses and sort all these sort of different like natural elements throughout out my work and so to see another other artist style from different times and seeing them being influenced by just mother nature in the same way in their like obsession with flowers I'm like yes so I want to incorporate some of the flowers and some of the uh, tulips that I've been learning about maybe tulips aren't as valuable as they were to the Dutch back then like now we got tulips everywhere like spring is coming like we see in tulips like everywhere <laughs> okay it's like tulip season but Tulips actually aren't even indigenous to the West. Anywho, okay, like how far are we gonna go into like the history of tulips? But like, clearly this has been something that I've been super excited and passionate about. Love with the Dutch flower paintings right and so the artist that I was working for she was like oh like they they cool or whatever you know and I just thought to myself like yeah she's probably seen this sort of art forever this was probably something that she had to do in her art history class like second semester or something you know what I mean and so as a self-taught artist there are a lot of gaps in my knowledge when I even think about historic and like iconic artists I mean sure I feel like I can rattle off the sort of popular common ones you know Picasso Warhol Frida Carlo you know and, and some of the population don't even know Frida you know and so it's just like I'm just like really stepping up my game in regards to like fully educating myself and I realize that sometimes we don't really have imposter syndrome sometimes we just genuinely aren't informed about a particular field of study even when i think about youtube it was so dope like let me just like comment really quick okay it was so dope hanging out with y'all during a live stream this was was this yesterday 
yeah, so depending on whenever you're getting this, I did go live um, on March, whatever day it was, and I'm gonna be going live again in June. Okay, so y'all like mark your calendars, but yeah, so there was like quite a few folks of y'all like asking about content creation and YouTube, which is super dope. And that's something that I know because I've studied YouTube. And of course, painting, I've been practicing painting for over, yeah, for over 20 years at this point. I've been painting for a very long time, so that's something that I'm competent in. Vegan recipes, okay, look, a shot. Shout out to Ra. Okay, shout out to Ra. One of my incredible patrons. Okay, she was on a live stream saying how she got the vegan cookbook that I had talked about. Oh, that just like, I'm like, girl, yes. Okay, slay it in the kitchen, boo. Okay, slay it. I love it. So, yeah, so it's just like there's certain things that we just haven't educated ourselves on. And so that's what I'm realizing. Like, girl, you're not an imposter. You actually just genuinely don't know what you're talking about. And that's okay. There's actually an easy solution to that. Become educated, become informed, immerse yourself in like whatever you're trying to do. So this is my immersion season. This is my study season, season of study, of practice, of painting, of really just like diving deep and becoming the next version of artist and creator and person that I want to be. start getting ready? Is it time? Well, we're gonna leave around four. What time is it? It's 3.15. What time are we actually gonna leave? What time are we actually leaving? Yeah. 4.30 at the latest. Okay. We in the studio, we getting some things done this week. I am mailing off a package for my aunt. It's her birthday. This is super exciting. Okay, do y'all remember from the last vlog I was showing y'all that I turned the, I put my artwork on some of the vegan leather clutch bags? I'm always sampling new products and I gift a lot of those samples to my family, okay? So, see, and I'm kind of like making her like one of the Zodiac gift boxes. Those are closed on my shop now, but it's been fun. I've been doing like a holiday sort of special with those. So maybe around the holidays, I'll make those available. But yeah, if y'all ever do want to support anything that your girl is doing, I do have an online shop. Y'all can check out more there, but she is an Aries. Shout out to all my Aries. Hey, hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, sure, yeah, come on in. in the studio doing studio things okay she back on her grind okay not a grind she's back on her grace okay that's what it is but i'm excited because i'm getting back to just like working in the studio painting creating my things sometimes like you just need a shift of environment to kind of realize how good you have it and honestly i wasn't i feel like i wasn't being grateful i wasn't really disciplined I wasn't really using my time in the best way that I could and so having it almost like taken away from me in a way kind of made me realize like girl get back to your studio get back to doing what you know you need to be doing because you've been procrastinating okay and to be real I've honestly been procrastinating and so I learned so much working for her and I am just so grateful like I learned about new colors and like to be real I probably forgot about some of the colors because I did go to New Orleans with um golden acrylic paints y'all know golden is my absolute favorite paints um I actually got some up here on the wall but and even those boxes those boxes over there are golden, more golden paints even in those boxes, okay? So I have a ton of golden paints, I love them. We swatched so many colors in New Orleans during the, it was the teacher, teaching artist education program. 
so incredible. We got to play with all of the mediums, all of the textures, the colors, the iridescent, you know, greens and blues and all the mediums, the open mediums, the matte, the high gloss, like all the things, okay? And so, um, but that was back in, was that 2018? I think that was 2018, so that was a minute ago. Um, but working with her, I was like, man, like, y'all know I use a lot of color in my work, and so for me to even, like, be discovering new color is just so exciting. So I feel like I need to go get some new colors, but before I even do that, I wanna check my current inventory in the studio to see even what I have um, so that I can get to painting. This feels so good, like, just to be, like, talking to y'all on, like, some casual stuff. Um, I do have... Okay, she's vibing. I remember like I used to just like talk to y'all on the studio vlogs. So I have a studio neighbor. Um, so over like over this wall is actually another studio. So but like we have the one studio that's kind of like enclosed. Um, but it's so it's me and, and another artist. But she is here uh, frequently Monday through Friday and she she wraps up at around like four in the afternoon. And so it is a little like intimidating when people are in the space to kind of be talking to a camera, you know, when somebody's like right in the next room. So um, I feel like I haven't been talking much in the studio. It has been like later in the afternoon. Right now it's 5.30, okay? It's 5.30, but it's getting spring energy because it's still bright outside. I feel like the days are getting longer and I am just so excited. Excited. Let's see what we got on the paint caddy. It's a mess. Okay. Hot ass. With a sizzle on it. Okay. It got a little, <laughs> a little twang on it. But I love the fluid acrylics because they have like more, it's like more of a watery consistency. The viscosity is lower. So it makes it, you can you can blend really nice and smoothly. The thing about my inventory, I have like, so what they gave us in New Orleans, it was quite a few of the open medium. I do like the open medium, but I like to be able to control how much I put in there. So I like to be able to just add the open medium. Mm. If you are new, first of all, welcome boo, okay? I've already established that I'm Aramis Hamer. I'm an artist working out here in Seattle, Washington. Um, and I work primarily with acrylic paints. And so if you aren't a painter, you might be like, what the hell is open? <laughs> it's pretty much a substance that you can add to your paint to make it um, <laughs> moist. <laughs> Who likes the word? Nobody likes the word moist. And you can add this to your paint so that it stays wet longer. Acrylics can dry so fast. I actually really like that though about acrylics. But sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to blend the face, blend the, blend the cheekbones, you know, I need a little bit more time. So I need it to stay wet longer. If you add the open medium to it, that's what does it. So, but of course for oil painters out there, oil stay, <laughs> stay wet for a very long time. Half the reason why I don't like them, okay? But open medium is my jam, but I don't like I mean, maybe I should try it actually. Now, especially since working for her. The thing is like with these, it's like, I'm not able to control how wet it stays. I feel like I like having the regular one. You see like the black, the black ones is the open and then the, reg the regular white is the regular. The what's nice about the regular one is that I get to add the open medium. I get to decide how wet or dry it's gonna be, you know, versus this straight out the tube with the open. It's like, no, this is pretty much gonna be oil paint for you, like it or not, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, mm mm. There's so much that I wanna learn and I feel like this is just my era to be a student again, you know, like to be a student of the craft, to really hone my craft, to really practice, to do studies, to do all sorts of different things. So like, I'm excited to take y'all on a journey. <laughs> Let's do it.